This is Don Drury in Madison Square Garden talking to the Bay Bomber coach, Charlie O'Connell. Charlie, this seems to be a rough series, boy, and the start of a brand new season. I imagine that uh, all of them just get rougher and rougher, and uh, this evening's game is probably the roughest game out of the entire series that we've seen this far. Do you expect that type of action in the rest of the season? Well, yeah, especially now that the uh, chief team put Woodbury on it. Uh, he makes the game a lot more rougher than it normally is which makes it very great for our team because, like I said last year, we're the, we're the people that are going to throw the first punch this day, uh, last year and this year. Last year proved my point. We went all the way through it and did it. Uh, this season we're going to start out with the same idea, hit hard. But as long as Woodbury's here, he's going to make it a little even rougher. So it's good for me. I love it. Well, I know that you've always been a great competitor, even in your rookie years. Uh, there were a lot of people that tried to stop you. I remember watching you back in the 59 season. And uh, you've been plagued with an awful lot of injuries. People always complain about the braces that you have on your arms. I think a lot of them don't realize that both of those arms were broken and that they are necessary. And other players have the opportunity to have that type of equipment if they desire it as well. Um, I don't really care what the people say or what they think. I really don't give a good goddamn. damn. Uh, I put them on for my protection. They're very lightweight. They're all padded. Uh, even the skaters don't really complain. It's the... Uh, Usually it's the publicity that's made about them, mostly the people that don't know anything. So that's what makes it look bad. They look hard, but they're not that hard. They're just protecting me so I don't shatter any more wrists or uh, forearm bones. And that's all they are. In your, in your skating career in the International Roller Derby League, I would imagine uh, in the past five, six seasons, these games have probably become the more rougher for you. Who would you say is uh, most of your competition in the games today? Nobody in particular that uh, you feel that you're the best all the way through? Oh, there's no doubt, you know, you got to be pretty stupid not to ask a question like that. You yourself are standing there and admit it, so as all the people in this building admitted it two years ago. Newspaper admits it, so why should I have to make really comments on it? Well, that was, <laughs> that was a little bad on my part, as you said. But basically, I, I think that any athlete that's going to be out there and skate up and is the best has it's, got to have the confidence himself to... Uh, to feel he's the best. The New York team feels that Bill Grohl and Bob Woodbury are just as capable of doing the... Well, they need somebody. They don't have anybody anymore. After I left the team, they don't know what the hell happened. You know, everybody went bananas here. The gates fell off, everything fell. Look at this crowd right now. They ain't really supporting their own team right now. They call us big crowds. When I was here, we filled this joint. I remember that. I was here at that time. Uh, so they don't really care about this team that much. If they did, they'd come out and support them. In this team and in this game this evening, it seems that uh, a lot of the competition out there has been not only with yourself and Bob Woodbury, but between Mike Gammon and Tony Roman. And that, that's that been a lot of the rivalry between the Bombers and the Chiefs. Well, it's always going to be that way, too. You take the two fastest men in the league, and they're equally the same weight, equally the same strength, and you've got a good game going. And uh, it's, it's basically them two guys are trying to prove who's the fastest and the greatest in the midget field. And... Uh, as far as I, I wouldn't say nothing. I can I can take my hat off to both of them. They're both great skaters. Thank you, Charlie, for talking to us. This is Don Drury and Charlie O'Connell from Madison Square Garden in New York City.